Lightning starts about half of all naturally occurring bushfires in Australia. It's been labelled the worst fire season ever recorded. The smoke is so intense and so thick it can be seen from space. Lightning that occurs with rainfall less than about 3 millimetres has a higher than normal chance of causing a fire. Known as dry lightning, this weather phenomenon typically occurs when most or all of the rain during a thunderstorm evaporates before it hits the ground. These storms tend to form higher in the atmosphere. In addition to lightning causing fire ignition, fires can also cause lightning. This represents a form of feedback loop where atmospheric conditions cause dangerous fires to occur and then they cause fire generated thunderstorms in the atmosphere and then that can cause new fires then on the ground too. These thunderstorms were present during the devastating Black Saturday fires in 2009 and produced lightning that ignited new fires about 100 kilometres away. Dry lightning can also cause strong erratic winds that contribute to even more unpredictable fires. Dry lightning is now becoming more common in some regions but less common in others as climate change influences the frequency of thunderstorms and the rainfall they produce. And we see a long-term trend towards less dry lightning in many parts of northern Australia due to fewer thunderstorms with more intense rainfall. While in southeast Australia, the data indicates a long-term trend towards more dry lightning in recent decades compared to the past. Scientists warn climate change is also making dry spells longer and more frequent, which could increase the fuel available for dry lightning to strike. They are closely monitoring this risk, especially in fire-prone areas. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.